If you don't know who I am, I'm half, I'm, I'm, my name is Joe Coy. I'm half white. I'm, I'm half white, half Asian, which means my dad was a, in a war. That's all that shit means. That's all that shit means. He, a lot of soldiers were fighting for this country. My dad was dating. I'm his purple heart. My dad would say borderline racist shit to me when I was a kid growing up, but I knew he was joking. It's my dad. We're just sitting at the dinner table. He's like, you know why I married your mom, right? And I'm like, well, why? Because I love Chinese food. <laughs> She's Filipino, Dad. <laughs> He's like, whatever. <laughs> rice is rice. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Yo, okay, this is what I love about being in New York, is only shit happens in New York and nowhere else. Uh, I, I'm not, this isn't even a joke, I just want to talk about what happened yesterday. I'm walking to my hotel room, and the, these two cops are talking, uh, I guess they're trying to arrest these two people, and, and, and they couldn't understand each other, so then he looked at me, the cop looked at me, <laughs> some racist shit, and he's like, hey, 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 hey. You speak, you speak French? <laughs> I swear to God. He goes, hey, you, you, speak, you speak French? This is, a, this is a cop. And I'm like, uh, and then I, I go, uh, un poquito. <laughs> because you have to answer with a stupid answer. You know, right? If it's a stupid question, you answer with a stupid answer. Like, why? Who the fuck are you to think I'm French? That's fucked up. My eyes are like this, like... Are you French? Oh, yeah, I'm French, yes. I'm French, yes, I am. Are you, are you French? I said, un piquito, and then, and then I, and I walked off. I walked off, and, and then I swear to God, like, like maybe 10, 15 steps later, this is what I hear. That's Spanish, asshole! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's for me only, but that really happened yesterday. Uh. This was, okay, this is what, all right, let me just get this out, uh, out real quick. I know you guys hear this shit a lot, but when you come to New York, uh, you guys have every Latino possible. I'm from LA, and we have one, and it's just a Mexican. That's it. We have, we have Mexicans, that's it. You come here, you have every other Latino ever made. You guys, you guys have Dominicans, you have Cubanos, Venezuelans, uh, Boricuas. Yeah, Boric out of all the, out of all the, I will say this, out of all the, out of all the Latinos, Puerto Ricans have the sexiest accents. Not, not the women. Slow down, that, that wasn't a shout out. Slow down, that, that was <laughs> Puerto Rican women, you're, you're a fly as shit. You, you got the body, the ass, everything, the look, but your, your accent is a little aggressive. It's like very Rosie Perez. It's very, it's very in your face, like you can't handle this pussy, this pussy. This pussy, it's Puerto Rican pussy. You can't handle this pussy, like. <laughs> Yo, did you call that boozy? Like, that's too aggressive. Por Puerto Rican men. Puerto Rican men have the sexiest accents. And I'm, not, I'm not gay, but I'm just saying, when, when Puerto Rican men talk, it'll make you gay for a second. <laughs> like, for one second, it'll make you gay. I have, a, I have a Puerto Rican doorman at my hotel. I went to Starbucks twice. Both times I asked him if he wanted anything just to hear him talk. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm like, yo, I'm going to Starbucks. You want anything? He's like, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I already have a, I already have a special today. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get you another one, motherfucker. That is too sexy. Say espresso. That is sexy shit. <laughs> I, <laughs> I 
almost, I almost died flying. Oh, by the way, I want everyone to know that if this has never happened to you, listen to this story. It's some scary shit. The engine on the plane exploded, and the pilot had to do an emergency landing. But before they could land the plane, the, the pilot had to fly around for like an hour and a half to dump all the gas out to make the plane lighter. And then when he let all the gas out, that's when he, he, he landed the plane back in LAX. And then when he landed the plane back in LAX, that's when I woke up. Because I was asleep during I was asleep during all this shit. I had no idea that my life was in danger until I woke up to everyone on the plane cheering, like, yay, pilot, pilot, yay, pilot. And I woke up and I was, and I and I looked at the chick next to me and I go, hey, why is everyone why is everyone cheering? Why why is everyone cheering for the pilot? What's going on? And then she was like, oh my god. Oh my God, the engine on the plane exploded. So the pilot had to do an emergency landing. But before he could land the plane, he had to like dump all the gas out of the plane. And he did that for like an hour and a half. And then when he dumped all the gas out, he finally landed the plane in LAX. We're still in LAX. And I was like, and you didn't fucking wake me up? That's fucked up. You're, you're sitting right next to me. The plane's about to crash. Why did you wake me up? I'm sitting here sleeping. I'm going to die in my sleep. That's fucked up. Wake me up so I can squeeze some titties on the way down. Because that's how I'm dying. If we're dying on the plane, I'm squeezing every titty on that fucking plane. I don't give a shit. I'm like, hey, come here, come here. We're about to die anyways. Come here, come on. I know why they didn't wake me up on the plane, because I suffer from this thing called sleep apnea. And if you don't know what sleep apnea is, it's snoring only worse. I choke in my sleep and I'm loud as shit. So I was annoying everybody on that plane. So when, when they were doing the emergency landing and the flight attendant was like, you know what, should we wake him up? And everyone on the plane was like, you know what, fuck him. He's going to keep us up anyways. Because this is what I look like when I sleep. It's the most disgusting thing you'll ever see. This is what I look like. Ha! 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 It's disgusting. I'm, this is true. That's how people sleep with sleep apnea. It's horrible. In order for me to sleep, I have to use a CPAP machine. A CPAP machine, and I wear a full mask on my face. This mask goes on my face like this, and two straps go behind my head. It looks like I have a jock strap on my face. But when I wear it, I sleep like an idiot. A hose comes out. A hose comes out of the mask, goes into the machine. I press power, and then and it blows air down my throat. And when I wear it, I sleep like an angel. I swear, it's beautiful. I just wear it like this, and it's like... <laughs> Every now and then, I'll knock the mask off. <laughs> <laughs> so, 